Yeah. We're not <laughs> peaking the uh, audio anymore. Anyways, welcome to Death Road to Canada. I know very, very little about this game. Um, it's my first time officially opening it up. Welcome to Death Road to Canada. Okay. It's kind of blue bird. It squawks. Updates and stuff. Okay. Oh, look at all this. Toilets open. Okay, so we got stats here. You can repeat the tutorial? Oh, okay. So because I haven't started it, we don't have a tutorial yet. The data deletion dingus. Now I'm good. Man, look at that. I'm like, throw a mean punch, man. Guardian of the Contributor Hut. Okay. Don't say timber, it gives me bad memories. Okay, cool. Well, it should give us a tutorial. Perks and traits. Bodybuilder. We got no ZP, so. Ratio and Rusty. Okay. So these guys all give different types of... Uh... So are these like unlocks that we can buy before a run then if we have Zombo points? Good weapon. Lots of ammo. Okay. Alright, well. Let's, uh... How do we leave? Do we exit through there? Yes. Alright, cool, let's start. Ah, yeah, here's the, uh... Here's the tutorial. Okay, cool. Wow. Holy cow, my dude looks... Fanny looks like she's seen some stuff, man. Okay, so we got an open there. Okay. Run over stuff to pick it up. We throw things, good to know. What is this? It's a rebar. Talk to interact. Okay. This is Lyle, who's a real dink. Zombies have broken into my home. This is probably your fault. It certainly isn't mine. The group found the zombie bunker Lyle called dibs on the big bedroom before anyone else. Tell him to cool it. Oh, man. Wits, attitude, morale. Oh, Fanny's morale is bad. Okay, well, sorry about that, then. Can I, uh... No, I only get the one interaction. Alright, well, we're not doing good at all. A to drop weapon, okay. B to swap weapons, alright. Bathrooms may have meds, okay. Oh, your weapons can break too, huh? That's a problem. Oh. Take this. The chairs, throw them. Be to drop a chair. Okay. Choose your pals wisely. And he greets Lenore. Uh, I think we'll have to leave the safe house. Uh, at least we got to rest for a while. Should probably head to Canada. Would you like to travel... Like me to travel with you. More people means more hands to loot and fight with. It also means more people get in the way, eat up the food, and argue. We'll just do two of them for now. That's fine. Oh yeah, that's a good hit right there, brother. Alright, well combat seems fairly easy. Always be looting. Okay. I'm guessing that's... So there's a couple different types of ammo then, I'm guessing. Okay. Whoa. Oh, we gotta go! Oh. Let's just get out of here. Start for team. Swap meat. Okay. Okay, tactics, that sort of stuff. Okay. 
our morale, our wits and our attitude, not super great. Oh, they're coming in! And the ladder up out of here. This will end the story of Fanny, but your story is about to begin. You'll make your way to Canada, looting all the supplies you can on the way. You'll need to build up your skills and your team to survive. All right, cool. New game. Sure. All right, so we have a couple different things. Ooh, made for four-player co-op. Is it only couch gaming co-op, or would I be able to get, like, Gilded or something like that in here? Because that could be kind of cool. Couch. Can't you do that through Steam, though? Doesn't Steam have, like, a, uh, a thing for it? I guess we just... Does it matter what... Thing we got big bruiser Ooh, mysterious past <laughs> it's pretty bad with high ping that's fair martial artist calm under fire okay i guess we're just gonna start off longer 25 day driving mode let's do death road normal get your skis uh, going to canada most road recruits you'll find will be random but sometimes you'll be more lucky yeah, we'll just do that. What about familiar characters? Instead of random, these characters you've created and saved. Make your friends and family, they'll show up in the game. That's kind of cool. Road trip to heck mode. A quick nine driving day mode. Yeah, any normal difficulties? Okay. Those rare characters. Most recruits you meet are now special characters with unique abilities. Okay. Cool. Holy cow, there's more. Keppa. Dang. Or Jerks Extreme. Quick Death. Triple Zombies. What is this? A for fun mode that lets you start with whatever rare character that you would like. Okay. Well, we're gonna just stick with what we got here. Alright, let's see what we got here. Holda, here's rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, she decides to brave the death road and travel north. Try sacrificing someone you don't like by getting them eaten on purpose. This will distract zombies. Okay. Well, run whenever you can, fight when you're forced. These zombies do not drop loot. Okay. Well, let's hit the road. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You'll also need to find ways to train and grow your team. Quiet factory, house on the road, or quiet hotel. Quiet factory. I don't know what's going to be there, but... Finds a rundown factory, like most factories one would see nowadays. Sometimes people try to set up a safe hideout in a factory side closet, but this usually doesn't end well. Yeah, let's explore the let's explore stuff. Oh yeah, did we see what we have? She's a big bruiser with a mysterious past. I don't know. And you have why well, you suck at shooting. That's for sure. You're martial artist, though. Does that mean you deal more damage when you uh, swing? Like, when you punch? Well, we have nothing on us except for a flashlight. Which we don't need. Huh! Oh, they're already around us, huh? We got gas. Nice. Yes, she does punch very hard. Ooh, is that a, uh... It's a golf club. And a grenade.
We just like throw chairs at him, we can. Oh crap. Hold on. Take all the weapons you can. We gotta get out of here. Oh, there's more. I, I can't aim somehow. <laughs> we gotta go. Ooh, is there? Ooh, there's something over here. Ooh, food. Does it matter how long we're in here? I mean, I see it's already noon. I'm guessing the later you are in a place, the worse off you're gonna be. There's nothing in here, nothing shiny. All right, we gotta go. Oh, oh it's the body of a dog, I think. <laughs> ah! Don't hit me. I don't know how the damage works in this either. <laughs> I wonder if closing the doors is useful at all either. Oh god, what's in here now? Got all sorts of trash. Got gas. We're really good on gas right about now. It's a hammer. All right, well, I think that's about it. All right, cool. All right, let's get out of here. I think we got everything that we needed. Seven food, a lot of gas. Pistol ammo and shotgun ammo, okay. Nice. I think we did alright. A spot on the road that looks as good for camping as any. The weather is clear and there's no sign of danger in any direction. Hmm. Medi says you can't fool me. Size of the spot looks too safe for the group and ends up peeling out of there fast without eating or sleeping. Medi's uh, feels smug after knowing or in knowing that she avoided the threat. Wow. Okay. Well, her attitude got somehow worse. That's a bad time. That was a bad one. Um, holy cow. Hold the sees a Sasquatch on the side of the road, minding his own damn business. Hmm. We have to turn around and investigate. Hey! Hold us. Okay, the group turns the car around to investigate. The group finds only a single large footprint where the Sasquatch was alleged to be. Hold us snaps an instant photo. She wants to believe. Hey, her morale went up. That's good. Everybody's tired, too. Group reaches the city as it starts to rain. The drizzle seems to rile up the local zombies, so they're irritated, huh? Ah, oh, gun shop or medical clinic? I think a medical clinic is probably not bad for us. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. We'll take the hammer. Boop. Let's boogie. Junk. Junk, junk. There ain't a lot of them in here, that's for sure. Ha! This place sucks, dude. Ah! Some pistol ammo. Give it to me! No! Oh. oh, I probably took way more damage than I needed to there. Eh, I don't think I took any damage. Is it like a rare chance that you take damage? Or not a rare chance, but is it is it random? Like they have like you have essentially the equivalent of a miss chance. Close the door. <laughs> 
Ooh, a turlet. A single thing of fuel. Ah. Alright, well. It was a bust. We know we had to go in deeper. See an opening this way. Nope. Wait, yes. Ah, there's the clinic right there. Let's get some meds. That's a big zombie, dude. Oh, look at all that. Ooh, healing spray. Scalpel. I think that's a chainsaw. <laughs> it's a bone saw. Yes, this will be very good. Holy medkits. Listen, as long as we're together, this thing takes forever to come back around. I don't even know how bad it hurts. It's a cane, I think. Okay. None of this stuff is, like, lootable. We got a single toilet back here. I'm guessing that might mean she's tired. Ha! Ah! All right, I just gotta do one more search. I don't see anything, man. Let's get out of here. It's already 7 p.m. It's gonna get dark soon. We've gotta get out of here. Well, let's not go that way. Alright, well, we got a lot of med stuff. So that's pretty good. Got healing sprays. Alright. Start the car. We got it. Alright, floor it. There we go. Man. We got some good medical supplies. If you tie a string around your finger real tight, uh, your finger will turn purple. Who cares? Aw. Well, don't be mean. The group finds an inn open for business. The owner wrings her hands. Give me ten food. I'll watch over you while you sleep. Yeah. Mm. That means we're real tired. Yeah. Group finds an isolated car garage. Sign says Master Tuners. Okay. Find some gas and lots of spare parts in good condition. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Uh... Stella tries to repair the car and hope that it goes a little further before breaking down. She has no idea what she's doing and wastes a day's time pretending to work on the car. The car runs like it's in good shape. The car looks all beat up, but still sturdy. Okay. Outside of Canada, most of the society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade with preserved food being the new currency. Yeah, sure, I'll visit the trader camp. What's the worst that could happen, right? Ooh. Ooh. So, yeah, they all want... Get rifle ammo. Wait, did we just get 10 rifle ammo? Did he just give us 10 rifle ammo? Ooh, there's things we can get in here. Ooh, there's a lot of things we can get in here. Food? Yes. 
I wish we could find like a grocery store. That'd be good. Ha! Do these stack? Whoops. They do. That's good. I don't even know if this bone saw is any good. I don't know which is better. This feels a little faster, though. I feel like it's probably comparable with damage, right? Is that Albert Einstein? It's an old but fit man in matching gray sweatpants and sweatshirt. He screams something about building mass and bulk with an intense strength routine. He flails towards some heavy, or he, yeah, towards some heavy objects lying around. You have eight food left. Nope, not interested. Okay, well, let's get out of here, guys. There we go. There we go. The car's not gonna break down. The group finds a new person, Jedediah. He's alone and wants to join the team. He claims to be great at fixing cars and machinery. He smells like car oil, but maybe that's just poor hygiene. Very bad feeling about this person. Hmm. Nah, girl squads, they're doing okay. How does my vehicle look? Okay. Only 13 driving days until Canada. hate it when it rains. Okay. The city is covered with hordes of undead and wreckage. It has been touched by previous fire. The group gets surrounded and their only chance is sprinting through the sewers. The aggression is hunting. Oh, great. Okay, we're bringing the first aid spray. You're a martial artist, which means you're pretty fine. All right, let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh. That can't be good. <laughs> we just gotta get out of here. Ah, oh, dead end. They come! Run, Medi, run! Good job, good job. You gotta go! <laughs> we should have brought a flashlight now that I think about it. Now that I think about a flashlight, would probably do wonders in here, huh? It's a tumble point! We got it. Hold our own! We got food. It's a femur. It's a kitchen knife. I think my cleaver is doing well, though. Ah, there's more. Ah, what's my health at? And we're still doing okay. Oh, we gotta go. How long is this set of sewers? Why did we end up down here? We gotta go. There it is! The exit! Nothing else in here. We have to go. You found the ladder out. We have to climb out. Hey, we got a lot of pistol ammo. We need a pistol. We got a lot of ammo for it. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward. Morale went random skill. Yeah, I think morale is probably a, probably a good thing to always have. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Everybody's in good shape. Fitness and strength increase. 
Use ZP to unlock traits, perks, and more on the title screen. Nice. Yes. So what's, does it show? It still doesn't show me what our strength is, but her strength is probably getting pretty ridiculous. Where did you get a pistol? Near the time to camp, but there has been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of the attack. Who should stay up on watch? Hold up. Hold the stands guard for the night. She ignores the task and falls asleep almost instantly. Oh, no. <sighs> the next morning, a bunch of supplies are missing. Well... I really don't like losing the food more than anything. <laughs> the group continues making progress along Death Road. As long as one person remains alive, the dream of Canada lives on. You have five food left. You know what? We can probably still... Oh my god. Hey, man. I'm having a fire sale. Absolutely everything must go. Resist the hot deals for now. Holy. There's a femur over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> well, he didn't survive too long, did he? Even in the post-apocalypse, I hate Mondays. While driving to death row, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. A big grocery store. Hey, time to refill on food, I think. Cabin rescue is in red, which makes me think it's going to be more dangerous. Our engine ain't looking too hot. Let's go to the big grocery store. Group spots a big grocery store. Many zombies roam inside, guarding shelves and storage rooms. It's daybreak. So I gotta like do it like this. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Let's boogie. All right. Ooh. All right, let's take the shopping cart with us. This will prove well inside the store. I do believe. Howly! We gotta make our stand here! We're getting surrounded. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. All right, we're safe. We're good. And we fended off the large bulk of them too. At least on this side. Uh-oh. We need food and gas more than anything. Oh, that's right. We suck with ammo. Or shooting. Although, ironically, we're super good with it. <laughs> Look at all this food. We'll be good for weeks. 